Well, good morning. It's great to see you. As you can see, I'm back at home. Uh, we came back. Oh, 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 boy, we left yesterday. Um, 6.30, we left um, Kent on that A2. And it was busy even at half past six in the morning. So uh, you think, oh, your commute to work is bad or there's lots of traffic. Try doing that one from a the A2. Anyway, so it's Friday, the 3rd of December. I had to look it up because it's like, oh gosh, didn't know what day it was. And we got back uh, uh, in time for Karen's, uh, for the ladies event at church last night. And uh, wow, what a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant event. It was really, really good. Thank you to everyone who made that happen. That's just amazing. And it's particularly giving a shout out to the waiters because I know some of them, uh, one of them in particular, will be certainly be listening to this today. So well done, Chris. Uh, well done, Ben. Well done, um, Matt. And everyone else and uh, people who served in the kitchen, all the men. Thank you all you for who all who did that. It was absolutely incredible. Um, Andrew Smith did a lot of in the dishes in there as well so fantastic if you're here thinking like who the heck are all these people if, you, if you're listening in Rwanda don't worry just say yeah bless them Lord bless them bless them uh, because God wants to bless each and every one of us today and God bless you uh, for what you do how you serve God wherever you are whatever you're doing I just pray God's blessing upon you today that he'll bless you as you serve him because um, we don't serve God out of out of duty or compulsion. We serve him out of a heart that's overflowing with love for him, out of a heart of thankfulness, out of a heart of gratefulness. Well, I could feel a preach coming out. I thought heart of gratefulness of what he has done for us. And I am so grateful and uh, so grateful to Jesus that he's taken me, he's saved me, and he's... He's written my name in the book of life, and one day I'll be with him, I'll see him. Anyway, that's not really helping us today with the devotion, but yeah, that is good stuff, isn't it? And sometimes we do need to hear that. We're in the book of Galatians, chapter 6, kind of, I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing next after this. I'm going to carry on this because I really am enjoying doing this. It's good for me, and I hope it's good for you, those who are listening. Galatians 6, chapter 3 says this, If you think... You are too important to help someone. Ho, 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 ouch. Guess what it says? You are only fooling yourself. You are not that important. If you think you are too important to help someone, you are only fooling yourself. You are not um, that important. Wow, 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 wow. We well, see the Christian life, it's not just me, my small corner. And Jesus, it's not that at all. It actually is. Well, actually, it kind of comes right back to that serving, really, doesn't it? Last night, last night would not have happened if the men had said, like, well, you know, I'm tired, it's a bit cold, I can't be bothered, I'm just going to sit at home and blob in front, front of the TV and watch the TV. No, they, they wanted to help the ladies in the church. And it was just great, because it was just great to see that last night. So some of the ladies, I know particularly one or two were like, were, were getting up to help move the dishes. And I said, no, no, you need to sit down because that's our job tonight. You just sit down, have a chat and enjoy people, enjoy being with people and fellowshipping. And a couple I found, I know found that difficult because they're so used to getting on and doing that. But it's great that us as men can do that to serve the women. In a church. I'm reminded by um, a few years ago when um, uh, myself, John Moore and Nicola Headley, we went to India. But G John Moore had been on a previous trip and they did this thing. I can't remember what it was, but it was like um, it was this, this thing where they did like a free barbecue was, was a, 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 a thing, a form of evangelism. And they went there and they went to the church and they went and they served the local people. And for some people, it, it really blew their it really blew their heads, their minds, because because of they're used to white people coming in, being the colonials, and being and being like beings, and and they were serving them. Actually, for for John and Anne Moore, and I particularly went there, and they went and served the 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 local people there in the church there, and and do you know what? That was powerful stuff. Now they might have said, "Well, actually, I'm actually I'm, I've come over here. I'm too important. To, I should be up here preaching, doing this." No, no, they knew they were there to serve. They were there to do what God wanted them to do, and they blessed people. See, if we think that we are too important, guess what? We're not really that important. You know, we are important in God's eyes, 
but we sometimes think, you know, we sometimes think of ourselves more more importantly than we should. You know, don't think this, the Bible says this, don't think yourself more highly than you ought. You know, because God loves each, God has no favourites, he loves each and every one of us with his amazing love. And I know some people who've just like been to, so career driven, so job, 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 job. And then when they think, I think, well, the world won't function without them doing the job. And then something happens and they're either ill, or, well, the world carries on. Of course it does. We are not that important, but we are we are dearly loved and blessed by God. But if you think that you're too important to help somebody else, guess what? You're not, because we're called to be family. We're called to love one another. You know, through my family, through what's been happening with my, you know, with the death of my sister, and I want to be closer to, in one sense, to help my mum and dad. But I'm just grateful that 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 all kinds of people have been there to help me because they said if they'd said I'm just too important, not I'm too important to do this. You know, things would not be so good. You are not that important. You know, the Bible says this, don't think of yourselves more highly than you are. You know, at the end of the day, we need to be aware who we are. We are children of God. Yes, we are children of God. Thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for that, Lord. But it's not us. It's his grace. It's all because of the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. All because of him. It's not because of our own abilities, it's not because of our own strength, it's not because of our own, all those kind of things, not because of all those things within us, not because of what I'm doing. If our self-worth is in what I'm doing, then that's wrong. Our self-worth should be found in Jesus Christ because our identity is in him. He is our life. He is, you know, he is our Lord. He is our King. He's given us his Holy Spirit and we are meant to become like him. So... If you think you're too important to help someone, hmm, guess who you're fooling? Just yourself. You're not that important. So, have a heart that is humble today, humble to serve God, to serve the body of Christ, to serve those who are in need. And just thank yourself for those who are helping that lady outside who'd fallen over last night, who sat with him in the cold, sat with her in the cold, put a blanket around her and just and pray with her. Just uh, such a blessing. Thank you for that. Pray you have a great day today. Take care. God bless. And I will see you again tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Amen.